day, crypto family. So it's going to talk about a couple news articles today and then cover some Bitcoin analysis. So the first article I want to talk about is says Bitcoin's current slump has not affected the number of investors coming in, says Bitwise CEO. This article says Bitcoin has been stuck in its price slump for the past couple of weeks after the bear market crash saw a lot of major coins slip from its price ladder. Despite the crash, there have been updates and developments from various players in the cryptoverse, with Bitwise being the latest one. Speaking to Bloomberg, Hunter Horsley, the chief executive officer of Bitwise, spoke about the crash and the investor sentiment following it. Horsley stated that the current market was in a bad place and Bitcoin's fall was the catalyst for the crash. He added that new people had entered into the crypto space, which is a sign of a free developing ecosystem. He also went on to say, quote, if you look at the cryptocurrency market ever since the inception of Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency bubble has not burst. In the 10-year history, the market has dropped significantly lesser than the S&P market. So whether you agree or disagree with what he's saying, I do believe that there are still new investors coming in. Now, of course, a lot of investors got out that have bought at the top, but I believe now more investors are actually ones that can see the potential for the growth. So as you know, a lot of the coins have dropped 90 to 95%. So new investors see that potential for 25, 50, even 100x gains, and that's why they're investing. So it also goes on to say that, you know, it's not as much the retail, but more the professional investors. So I do believe that the number of investors are staying the same or increasing just because the risk cost to uh, risk to benefit ratio is so high right now or sorry, so low because you know you don't have to risk a lot, but you're still gaining so much. So I believe that's definitely a playing a big factor. And he also says, a lot of the people view the industry as bear market with the number of investors going up all year round. The investor demographic also shows that the type of investors have also changed. So again, this is where he says the individual investors occupied it earlier, whereas right now the inflow is from the side of professional investors. And he also mentioned that sophisticated investors like the fund format because it helps them think about investment they want to make and Bitwise will take care of evaluating the custodians storing the assets. And at the end it says, quote, the launch was driven by inbound client interest and investor dissatisfaction with existing options, many of which carry premiums, charge exit fees, have lockups and or charge expenses to the fund outside of the stated management fee. So again, for Bitwise launching two new single asset funds, their Bit Bitwise Bitcoin fund and the Bitwise Ethereum fund, that shows that you know there is still interest in there and a lot of people are seeing potential for cryptocurrencies long term and they are investing at these low prices so that's something just to keep in mind when you're looking at these you know thinking about new investors coming out well actually there's a lot of new ones coming in so something to keep in mind you know even during this bear market now the next article i want to talk about is actually south korea so in 2017 south korea was a big big player in the market um, you know, they probably almost led the way with the adoption of cryptocurrencies. Them and Japan definitely played a big part. And it says here that as a high tech hub known for its consumer electronics, tech giants, esports, and global innovation, perhaps it's not surprising that a report by Syndicator revealed that South Korea will play a major role in cryptocurrency adoption. It says, based on existing evidence, the country of 50 million inhabitants and one of the world's top 15 economies is poised to play a major role in embracing cryptocurrencies. So this is due to factors such as exchange infrastructure, a high level of tech adoption, and the country's regulatory and tax framework. So they are very tax friendly. They actually don't charge tax on capital gains if you're trading cryptocurrencies. And also they have some of the biggest exchanges. So you have Upbit, BitHum, CoinOne, and Corbit. These are huge exchanges with massive volume. And they actually make up most of the volume if you compare them to exchanges in the United States. And again, it says, it mentions when Tron was listed on BitHum, its price went from three cents to five cents in as little as three hours. And so it's definitely good that South Korea is having such a positive attitude towards cryptocurrencies. And even though regulation is coming around, I do believe that South Korea will be one of the countries to really, you know, kick the cryptocurrency boom again and help that mainstream adoption. So it says at the end, quote, South Korea will play an important role in driving the adoption of cryptocurrencies globally. So again, that's always something good to see. And, you know, just more countries supporting cryptocurrencies, um, the more that you can see adoption in the future. Now, looking at the market today, again, not too much going on. Um, crypto or Bitcoin has actually been bouncing up and down quite a bit today. Right now, it's sitting at $3,483, up 0.96%. You have Ripple down 0.94% to 30.6 cents. Ethereum's down 2.5% to $92. Stellar's down up. 1% to 11.9 cents and then tether again is just tether at one dollar and one cent So Bitcoin cash and SV still playing for that sixth and seventh spots now looking at some Bitcoin analysis here So you can see I mentioned in my last video about this three-day TD sequential nine so this red nine here 
The higher in time frame you go on TD Sequential, the more likelihood that a reversal will happen on these red nines or green nines. And you can see right now I am expecting reversals to happen within the next couple of days and this candle to turn into a green one. But right now we're sitting at $3,394. And then you look at the previous green nine candle and I'll scroll back so you can see it. It was back in March of, tw March of 2018. And you can see right after that green nine, we climbed up, we opened at 69.20 and went to a high of 75.18. So a $600 move. But you can see we reversed after that but then we ended up having an uptrend all the way to almost $10,000. So that was the run that we had. So I'm hoping we see that soon within the next week or two from this red nine. But again, we're gonna have to see what happens in the next couple of days. But the RSI is oversold, so there is plenty of room to the upside. So again, I'm hoping we get some more buy volume in. Um, we may potentially have a retest of the 3200 level, which is a level that you know stopped out a lot of people, but there were a lot of buyers. So again, we'll have to see what happens with that and we can continue moving forward. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you have it. Until next time, thanks for watching.